Welcome to another night of the horror fest. To be honest, I almost skipped this one because I had the script written out for this and then I freaking lost it. And after hours of searching, I almost just gave up. But fuck all that, here we go. So following the events of Annabelle, Roger and Carolyn Perrin, along with their children, decide to move into a sketchy ass farmhouse in Rhode Island. The very first night in the house, paranormal things start to occur. One of their daughters, Christine, sees a spirit that pretty much tells her it wants her whole family dead. And she decided not to tell anybody about this, or... So then Carolyn gets dragged into and trapped in the basement. Well, I guess it's time to get the fuck out, y'all. It's then that Carolyn seeks the help of Ed and Lorraine Warren, who are fresh off the Annabelle case. The Warrens agree to help and investigate the house. They discover that the situation is pretty much foobar and requires an exorcism, but nobody there is authorized to give one, and getting approval by the Catholic Church could take forever, so they're pretty much screwed. Upon further research, they learn that the house once belonged to the Blair Witch. No, I'm kidding. But it did belong to uh, a woman accused of being a witch named Bathsheba? Bathsheba? I don't know what the fuck kind of a name this is, but anyway, uh, it was back in 1863, and she was a descendant of real witches from Salem. In a ritualistic sacrifice, Bathsheba sacrificed her baby to the devil and then hung herself from a tree out on the property. You know, the, the one from the, from the cover, that one, yeah, the, the noose, yeah, there you go. And she cursed anyone who ever set foot on the property. As a result, there were numerous murders and suicides reported on the grounds throughout the years. I just want to know who put this house on the market. Like, what kind of realty company is this? Seriously. Ed and Lorraine decide to stick around for a while, and they take the family out for ice cream one day. Oh, that's sweet. For some reason, though, Carolyn stays behind, and Bathsheba shows up, vomiting blood into her mouth, possessing her. Dude, what is up with all these people puking into each other's mouths? I mean, shit happened in Annabelle, it's happening here, like, stop it. So anyway, that night, Cindy, another daughter, is sleepwalking and shows Lorraine a secret passage through her wardrobe. Oh, you wish it was this one, didn't ya? Anyway, so Lorraine goes through and falls straight through the floor, landing in the basement. She finds the ghost of another victim of the house, stating that the witch possesses the mother to kill the child. The Warrens visit Father Gordon, who tells them that the approval for the exorcism has to come directly from the Vatican, which could take pretty much forever. The family meets back up at the farmhouse, where Carolyn has taken Christine there to kill her. They tie her up, and Ed pretty much says fuck it and does the exorcism by himself. YOLO! The witch destroys the room and bites a chunk out of this dude's face and then all hell pretty much breaks loose. And then just when you thought it was fucked, Lorraine reminds Carol about some happy memory the family shared at the beach one time, and then suddenly the witch is gone. Really? That's it? Like after everything goes down, like a stupid memory? You know what? Never mind. After everything settles down, the Warrens return home to find out that they have another case, and yep, you know the one. Anyway guys, tomorrow I take a look at an old urban legend. In the meantime, don't go off wandering by any lakes or streams. See you later.